Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Um, today I wanted to take a little bit of time and do sort of a study along um, and maybe show you how I go about uh, learning this game um, apart from just watching uh, YouTube videos, obviously. Um, this is a really good website that I like. Uh, this is Plonkit. Um, there's also a Plonkit Discord, which is very helpful. Um, and they've got a pretty good list of, uh, of countries here um, and for example if you know that whatever uh, this is your weakness then you can go in and learn about uh, the ballers that they use the utility poles uh, chevrons um, and then uh, you can also pick up uh, some clues on how to region guess um, in this country and then at the very bottom they've got some very uh, like niche tips um, that are all curated by professional players. So, they just came out with this one the other day, uh, which is Greece. And um, I wouldn't say that Greece is necessarily a weakness, but um, I thought it might be kind of cool to just go in and, uh, and pick up all the new knowledge um, that they have dropped off for us here for Greece. Um, so, um, I've got a Greece map uh, loaded here, um, one that is not an official map. Um, so I'm hoping it's got a little bit um, more even coverage on it. Um, so let's just start um, from the top here. So I, I did uh, scan this uh, very briefly before the video started. Um, looks like we've got um, dark poles is something. Um, like uh, dark wooden poles rather I should say. Um, and then these pole tops are pretty distinct. Um, I guess that's a good indicator that you are in Greece. Um, five insulators on the poles. Um, solid white. Um, there's the Greek bollard and black and white chevrons. And then uh, some other sort of tips about the street signs and whatnot. Um, this one I found interesting. I'm gonna have to remember that. Um, that is the Greek uh, crosswalk, uh, which is pretty distinct looking. Um, other than, like, apart from the typical crosswalk you would see uh, in Europe. Um, this one I also found kind of interesting. These little miniature churches. Um, it's not something that I necessarily recognized about Greece, but that's uh, another good indicator apparently. Um, lots of uh, white architecture, um, mountainous sort of winding roads, uh, apparently it's got a lot of red dirt, which is something that I didn't, uh, hadn't noticed previously. Uh, it's got somewhat bleak and depressing, uh, Gen 3 winter and fall coverage. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out here at the top was that, um, there is a pretty significant amount of Gen 2 coverage, um, which is not... Um, as common in Europe, I don't think. Um, excuse me. So, this is what I really want to get into here, because um, this is what we're going to be uh, attempting on this Greece map here, is to actually region guess. So, region guessing is essentially, I mean, it's what, like the name suggests, you're going to guess what region in the country you're in. And um, that's kind of the next step for me as a beginner to intermediate player, is uh, once I've identified the country to now start learning you know each country and then uh being able to sort of pinpoint um where you at where you were at in that country is uh really important for picking up points against more experienced players so um this is what we're going to be trying today we're going to be trying to learn some tips for ge uh region guessing in greece so these area codes these seem a little i mean <laughs> I think these are, uh, these are learnable. Um, I'm not sure that I would go as far as to learn, um, the third digit for everything, but learning at least, like, you know, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, I will be keeping this page up just so that we can, um, go back and look. And then, this is another thing, this is something that you once you pick up one of these guides, you can flip back and look to it um, while you're guessing, but then 
it eventually just starts to become like second nature, really. Um, so we're gonna keep an eye on that. Um, this is a really tough one because it like if I had just loaded into this, I probably would have sent like Argentina or something. Um, like very very southern Argentina. Um, it's worth noting that the olive plantations tend to be in the south, it looks like. And then similarly, the citrus plantations. And it's more commonly in that area right there. Um, and then Crete, you've got this little uh, unique antenna there, um, which is good because I'm not... Uh, I would not be very confident in sending a Crete guess um, just on the region alone. So let's just let's load in here and see how we do. Um, when we're doing studying like this, I do like to have everything on um, and no time limit, just that I can see, because uh, we're, we're here to learn, right? We're not really going to test ourselves on our knowledge quite yet. Um, so let's just sort of look around. Let's see if we can find... Okay, so we've got the, uh, the pole top, right? Right there. Looks like a harp, it says. That's kind of accurate. So even if we didn't have you know, the Greek uh, Greek letters here, we'd be able to tell off that. Again, we do have the um, wooden poles and they are kind of a dark brown, which is good. Um, let's see. Um, with the plates, you can see some have a blue strip and some don't. Um, let's see if we can find a phone code. Or an area code, maybe. Um... I can one there. Because we need the area code, yeah. Um, this is this does look to be the uh, the bleak, <laughs> somewhat bleak and depressing uh, fall winter coverage. Um, this is a like a stop sign that you'll see in like Turkey and Greece. Um, so that's another good one. Um, it's a very short front plate right there. Um, let's see, we had to, we seem to be heading more residential. Let's go back uh, to the center of the town. Um, let's see if we can find a phone code because I would kind of like to, I'd kind of like to test that. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna get be that fortunate. Um, okay, two three. Is that right? Or is that just coincidence? Is that including the area code? Not sure that it is. Um, two three eight. Okay. Okay. So maybe we are in two three eight. <clears throat> so let's go back to our phone codes here. So two three eight would be right up here. So. Let's see. I need to look at Greece and then try to remember, like, let's do this. Um, or even better. Right? Boom. So, 2 1 appears to be like Athens, right? And then 2-2 two, two is the area above Athens in this little strip here. And it looks like the majority of the islands as well. But then we skip over, we skip over this more mountainous region Okay. Well, there you go. That's it. Okay. So here's a little thing that I'm going to remember. This little, this thing here, it looks like a hand reach and it's got three fingers on it. And you can see that's, that's where the two, three area code is. So three fingers, that's where two, three is. Um, and then five is this little hook right here towards Turkey. Um, six, seven, eight. So Crete is eight. Turkey's five. Okay, 
So let's just go, let's go ahead and send, uh, uh, let's see, well, um, let's just send, uh, we can see the mountains, right? So, where could we be? Let's just try here. Okay. It's a pretty good guess, right? That would be like an amazing guess on uh, on a typical duels match. Okay, let's look around here. Um, two, let's so say two six. I believe it does two six four. So without looking at our phone codes now, this is one. This is. Uh, this is two, and then this is four, this is three, that's five, and then six was along this edge here, right? So we get down to seven, and then eight. Um, so let's look at, um, let's look around for some other things. Um, again, we've got that harp sort of uh, thing going. Um, Bring, um, let's bring these back. And um, let's look for some other clues, maybe. Other region guessing clues. Because um, let's, I mean, let's say that we don't have this in front of us here. Um, and we're struggling to find where we might be. Okay, so the tallest mountains are in the west, looks like. Um, and we don't really have any signs of, like, uh, agriculture going on necessarily, do we? Or do we? It doesn't appear to be. Um, it does seem to be fairly mountainous. Right? Just with the plants and everything. Uh, yeah, and you can see... Are those mountains or no? I lose my mind. Is that just clouds? Um, let's see here. So let's say we spawned in like right here. And we're looking to see if this is grease or not. I mean, I would probably <laughs> zoom in right there and see the grease sign. But uh, Okay, let's try like down here. Um, okay, so we just spawned in. Probably look at the poles first. All right, we're noticing the wooden poles. They're not necessarily very dark. Um, I believe that little thing is a, uh, is a creek indicator. Uh, yes. The small lamp, the round shade above it. Okay, so there you go. So we would say, okay, right, so we're in Greece. And we would look around and say, okay, so it's very mountainous. And then maybe then we could look at the phone thing and see, okay, 264. And then we could send right over here. And there you go. Right. Let's finish this round out. Okay. So we've got the double, uh, double white, which is pretty common for Europe, right? Um, dark brown pole. Um, I don't necessarily recognize that pole top, but that's okay. Um. Those sign, those is that a thing? I think that's a Greek thing, where like the the signs are like really short. Am I just making that up? I don't know. It's so got red reflectors on the uh, on the guardrail here. Um. So I mean, just look like if I was on no moving, panning, zooming, I probably would have sent like. New Zealand or something on this um, let's check our antenna and we do not have Crete car right because it's like much shorter yeah it's got like a fatter tip on it so 
let's look at some of our other region guessing clues that we've got here. Um, this looks pretty picture perfect to this area right here. So flat agricultural valleys. So we're going to be somewhere in the east. Probably the northeast it looks like. Um, north and center of the country. Okay, so... We, I mean, we really, we really don't see much mountain here. I mean, to be honest, right? It's not like they're very, not like they're distant. Like, you know, off in the distance somewhere. It's pretty, well, maybe they are kind of, oh, okay. We do sort of have some there, so. North and center of the country. So maybe like somewhere like right right in there. Um let's try like hmm. It feels closer to like feels closer to a round that I would see there. Okay. So the very flat parts of Greece are going to be like in this area, kind of, with like mountains distant. Um, I probably could have checked to see um, which direction those mountains were at. Um, we go over here so we can see like, uh, where's my compass? So we've got mountains to our north. So we could line it up and see we've got this huge mountain range to the north there. Um, whereas north of this, there really isn't much. I mean, there's this thing over here, I guess, but yeah, that would have been a better guess if we would have just checked our elevation there. Okay, fourth round. We do appear to be in the mountains. Um, we've got our Gen 2 coverage here. Or, sorry, no, excuse me. Um... No, yeah, we've got Gen 2. Okay. Um, let's see here. I mean, without seeing a phone code or anything, um, would I mean, to me, it kind of looks like the westernmost side, just because of the elevation that we seem to be at, and um, with the palms and things, you got to think that we're, we can't be too far from the coast here. Um, I was gonna see if maybe I could find uh, uh, some signs of like. Like, the, the miniature churches are uh, kind of interesting. I haven't seen one yet. Maybe I have, and I just skipped over it. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Interesting. So... I mean, without too much else, context-wise, unless I'm just missing something. Um, you know, there was this thing. Unusually tall at antennas. Would you describe that as unusually tall? <laughs> I really couldn't tell you. I will be livid if it's like if it's right here, I will be furious. We don't necessarily see the coast anywhere. And I mean we seem to be near like the highest mount well Yikes dude. Hold on. Let's see if we, uh, 
Is there any other antennas around here? Oh man, it's gonna give me nightmares. I don't think so. Well, that thing is pretty tall back there, dude. I can see that one. Oh gosh. But it looks like there's like... Does it not kind of look like they've got some like tree plantations down there? Whew. Really throwing me right here. Really throwing me. I won't... Oh, gosh. I wonder... I mean, those are plantations, like, without a doubt. And so is this. Yeah, these are olives. Well, that's concerning, because... Like... Well, you, I guess, I mean, it's not uncommon, but like, Gen 2 coverage, like, is the Crete thing just a sometimes? Yeah, it's just a unique. You may find it. Okay, well, thanks, Plocket. Uh, gosh. If I was down here. I mean, it's gonna give me nightmares. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna call me crazy, but like, I think I might trust that antenna meta. Just see. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. I mean, there's your lesson. We saw those plantations, right? And, uh, just seems to be more of a southern thing. Um, that area isn't necessarily highlighted right here. I mean, it's kind of low. Um, so, anyway, let's just try it. Let's just keep running it, see if we can get a vibe for the place. Okay, now this has got to be somewhere western, right? Those are some pretty tall mountains. And again, if we just spawned... Like, if we just spawned right here on a duels game, we could see the Gen 2. We could see the winding... Right? Winding mountainous... Uh, winding mountain roads, right? Um, and then just kind of, like, vaguely Mediterranean looking, I guess is what I would say. Um, let's try, like, let's just try somewhere in the west. Okay, good deal. So, not necessarily, um, like a flooring game. Obviously, that was just our first game, uh, trying to region guess Greece. But, you can get a, kind of get an idea of, uh, how you might go about, uh, learning a new country. So, I hope that was helpful. Um, just a little study-along video, and, um... Yeah, thank you for watching.